Well, hello there, my fellow Fixit employees. Welcome back to another episode of How to Satisfactory. This one is just going to be kind of a quick kind of mini episode uh, because yesterday I did the episode 13 live stream. So this is going to be uh, more of a prequel or more of a post episode after the fact because there was a couple things that I just wasn't happy with during the live stream being the, uh, the hunt for the courts. That didn't turn out as well as I expected because I didn't really have it down in memory where the actual quartz was. So this time I kind of just want to show you guys around and uh, give you a better guide to get to those. Now there are two nodes for quartz that we can go to. One of them is down this valley, kind of up and around, a little bit far away. But then again, the other one is over here to the left over towards our co-generators. And that one is also kind of a little far away to kind of get to. So I think what I'm going to do, since uh, if you've watched the live stream already, you would already know kind of how to get that one in a way. Uh, I didn't do the best job of explaining it, and it took a bit. So I'm actually going to go over here to the left. We're going to go towards the co-generators, and I'm going to show you that one. And we're going to come back and show you the benefits of going this way if you want to go up towards the northeast. But uh, first thing we're going to do is let's make sure that we have inventory to do this so if you've got anything in your inventory you don't want tickets uh let's see you want to keep that if you got a mercer spear in there you can get rid of that uh we don't really need these either or any kind of wood etc don't need any of that so just make sure you've got space in here because you are going to need it we don't need those pyro shards either or any of these all right so that's going to clear us up some space now we also want to make sure that we have enough health. So if you've got any kind of nuts, berries, anything like that on you, go ahead and fill your health up. Alright, so now after you have your health full, another thing you are going to need is a couple of portable miners. So make sure you have those. Just come over here to the equipment workbench. And we are going to make about, uh, you can make about two or three. That should be enough. Uh, I found that three gave me tons of crystal. So, you could grab, just make three of them. Alright, now, after you have your three portable miners, make sure you've got our weapon out. Since we are doing some adventuring, I prefer the basher, but if you like the rebar gun, go ahead and use that too. Just make you some rebar and some ammo so you have some. And we're going to head up to the co-generators. Alright, now, once you get to the co-generators, let's hop down into Lake Pit, as I like to re lovingly refer to it. And then we're just going to swim over to shore. And we're just going to keep heading straight right here, kind of up a hill. Alright, once we are back on shore, like I said, just keep heading straight. And as you get over here, you should see a path kind of leading up a hill here. It's right through this little forest area. Alright, you are going to have to contend with the local wildlife. That is a great reason why I said you will need lots of health on that. Oh, here's a little bit of quartz right here. I'm just going to grab this. You, of course, may not end up getting quartz out of that. That could be Caterium for you. Or it could just be Iron or Copper. Alright, so just keep going up the path here. And you should come across, as you come over here, a bit of a pond. Just kind of hug the wall over here. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, right here. With a, It's a pond with a mo Mercer Spear in the middle of it. Now, there is a Charger over here trying to catch me. I ain't worried too much about him. We're just going to keep on going over here. And then you should come across kind of this little deserty area right here. This is where we want to go. If you see the geysers, then you've found the right spot. So just kind of, you want to stay away from the fireflies. You can fight them if you want. I'm going to stay away from them. I don't feel like it right now. And I'm just going to hug this wall, come over inside of this cave, and here we have it. We have two quartz nodes dead in here. Both of these are pure. Now there is also a mama spitter in here. So... Not something I wanted to contend with, but we'll take her out. Actually, that didn't take so long. Now, there is another one right over there, but I think if we just kind of stay away from that one, we should be all right. Now, these two nodes down in here are pure nodes. So, this one over here is probably your best bet because it's furthest away from the other mama spitter over there. So, what you want to do at this point is just throw your miners down and then just wait and collect as much quartz as you can. So as I said, just go ahead, throw a miner down, and then throw your other two down. Let them do their thing, gather up all of their quartz 
and then you'll have plenty of course to take back with you to your hub and then just travel back the way we came back over there to the coal factories and then back to the hub where you would then turn that in to silica to make windows all right now we are back over here at the hub so now i'm going to show you how to get to the other route now this route is a little harder because there's going to be a lot more things to fight a lot more things that can kill you this way it's almost like we're heading into australia but the payoffs this way are actually a little better there are more crash sites there's even some purple slugs this way so what we're going to do is we're going to head down northeast down the valley as i call it right down through there until we get down to the huge grassy flat area down there with the pit in the middle so let's do that let's head that way make sure your health is all the way up make sure you got your portable miners on you and off we go now as you approach this huge grassy area down here there's a pit right down in the middle now the way that i went in the live stream uh oh these guys are coming after me i'll just take care of him real quick there we go might as well get the other one out of the way too all right okay so back to what i was saying so there's a huge pit right down there now in the live stream i tried to go up that way and then you can also go through the cave and get up to that too but there's an actual much easier way to get up to this quartz and i'm going to show you how to do that so you can go this way past the geysers here and kind of go through that way but you're going to be blocked by some of the poisonous cloud down there so what i would do is just come over here and then we're going to go into our build menu we're going to go to foundations we're going to build some ramps up right here that way it's going to make us easy now make sure you got zoop on and then just kind of put it right there on the edge and zoop down and now we can just pop up this little hill right here now as i said the rewards are much greater on this area there is going to be a yellow slug right on the side of this hill over here so all we got to do is jump over here come up here and then right down here is a yellow slug so we're going to collect him there we go and then back on our merry way so we're going to follow the round the side of this cliff over here all the way over and if you look over here let me get up on top of this all right so if you look over across from you right there there's a purple slug right in that tree it's easily missable but it is right there so a good way to get to him is just go ahead and just build like a bridge over to that. So just start right here, kind of point it towards the hill, and then just zoop all the way over there. All right, so once you get to the end of the bridge over here, you'll notice it's not quite tall enough to get to that. So what we're going to do is build a couple of ramps up. Now, I am out of concrete or plates or something because I can't really build anything else. So I'm just going to take a couple of these away from the back back here and then just build a ramp up and i might as well build two we're just going to go up here and we're going to jump across to this and we're going to grab a purple slug which is a great reward if you haven't got a purple slug yet you'll probably have to use this one in the research ma'am to actually unlock the purple slugs but after this all purple slugs are going to be worth five power shards which is quite good all right so now what we're going to do is you should see a little path right over there that's going up the hill. We're going to head over that way. And we're going to head up that hill. If you are low on resources like I am and forgot to bring extra concrete and plates to build foundations, make sure you grab your foundations before you head out. All right, once you get over to this path, just follow this path right up the hill. All the way up to the top. And it should bring you to a nice little pond area right up here. Now, we're going to go to the left of the pond. And we're going to head up that path right going up that way so let's go ahead and do that real quick and after you get up here you're going to be like well wait where do i go now because it seems blocked you should see kind of a little platform right over here what we're going to do is we're going to climb up this if you've got the blade runners this shouldn't be a problem you can go over here and kind of up and around you can also go to the other side and jump up or if you need to just build a ramp up it's just that simple all right now there is a huge geyser over here this is actually oh, i believe liquid nitrogen here if I'm not mistaken uh, nitrogen gas yeah so this is nitrogen gas pit right here probably you haven't seen this before but that's what it is and not something we can do anything with right now at the moment now our quartz if we go ahead and do our finder here is going to be over to the left up that way but 
there is another purple slug over here. So if we follow all the way around on the right over here, right around the corner, right up here in a little cubby hole, is another purple power slug. All right, now we got that one. We head back down here. There are two spitters guarding the uh, nitrogen gas right here. So you can kind of make your way around them or you can fight them, whatever you want to do. Just make sure that your health is all the way full right now at this point. All right, and away we go. I'm being careful not to attract the spitters because I don't really want to deal with them right now. And we're going to head up this way to the west. It's my lucky day. I came across a small little node of quartz right here. I'm just going to go ahead and grab that. As we keep continuing up through this way. And right up here, you should see like this yellow plant right here. You see the gas and stuff all the way over there. Now what we want to do is we want to come right over here. And we want to build some ramps up to that. So that's what we'll do real quick. So I'm just going to grab a ramp. Kind of build it anywhere in this general vicinity to get up to the top right there. That's good. I'm going to build that right there. Now, once you get up to the top up here, this area is guarded by a mama spitter over there. Ooh. And a couple of regular ones too, apparently. That's okay. I can fight fire with fire. All right, took those out, and right here is a blue slug right on this rock right here, right on the edge. How convenient. I told you, the rewards over this way are actually well worth the risk. All right, now, as I said, there is our two quartz things. But before you head over there, beware, there is a giant mama spitter over there that we need to kill. So whether you're going in bashing or you're going in shooting, just be careful. Be careful. Just be slow. Be steady and take this mama out. I actually find it's kind of more convenient to take these things out with as the uh, the rebar gun because you don't have to get up close and personal. All right, so now she's out, and here is our two quartz nodes. Now these are only normal nodes; they're not pure like the other two, but like I said, we got two purple slugs, we got a yellow slug, did we get the yellow? Yeah, we got a yellow slug, we got a blue slug, so we got lots of power shards and stuff up here. And if we look right over this way, over to the edge over there, you can see there's a crash site right over there, and I believe there's another one like right down there. I can just barely see it, but if we head down here, as we come down the hill, back the way we came, you can see it right over there in the distance right there. So, there's your crash site right across from the nitrogen gas over there. So, you can go grab that too. So, like I said, rewards a little bit better than the risks over this way, I would say, in my opinion. So, it just depends on which one you want to do. You could go not fight and just head up and over towards the coal area, grab the quartz over there. Or you can come up this way, grab the quartz you need, and a lot more stuff. It's so whatever you guys want to choose. I just wanted to make this video to kind of show you an easier way to get to the courts so you don't have to try to follow what I was doing in the live stream. And I think this is a little bit better of a video for that and just kind of shows you guys better. Like I said, just a quick video just to kind of be helpful. Anyway, that's going to be it from Satisfactory today. You guys have a great rest of the day wherever you are in the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I'll see you in the next video.